had a little bit of a request from someone who commented, Triple J, about how to calibrate an SWR meter. So, whilst the power... Oh, it's gone out of focus a minute. There we go. Try again. So, while the power side of that can't be calibrated unless you're using a known standard, which I don't have, even though I've tuned this radio, which is my Midland 77095, on a different meter, which reads lower than, than this one, the SWR calibration is relatively straightforward, it just involves this control here. But power, you can't really calibrate it with that. There's a matcher connected to show what happens when there's a bit of a mismatch. I do have a full video on how to check the SWR, but calibration is usually done with this. So what you would do to calibrate the SWR meter to get a good SWR reading is you normally Transmit on the radio, that radio is now transmitting. It's already set as I would want it. So let's take that off. So, if I go to forward, which is how you do it. So first you go to forward and then transmit. Then you would move that pointer there to the set mark there. Just try not to do this for too long in case there is an actual mismatch. And then Click the switch to reflected, that should give you your result. I am transmitting by the way, which is down here. And because that's into a dummy load, that's not going to move. So if I was to introduce some slight mismatch, which I can do, there we go. Let's add a bit of a mismatch so we don't get too high, that'll be fine. That's what this match box is for, just to demonstrate that on an antenna, which I don't have at the moment, the SWR is not going to be perfect. So we'll go back to the forward position. We'll adjust the knob on the meter to the end, and then flick it to reflected. That'll give us a true SWR reading, which with me introduce, deliberately introducing a mismatch is two to one. So that's basic, the basic operation of an SWR meter.